People have to be so fucking stupid in this world. Uh, oh, hold on, guys. Oh, so how have y'all been? Me, uh, eh, I've been doing all right. Oh, uh, just been busy trying to clean up my mess I made from yesterday. Plus I uh, finish up some stuff. Tearing old shit apart for scrap. Yeah. So yeah I haven't been doing much just 20, trying to sweep up and clean my benches off. Again. Because uh I swear to God, dog, your farts are worse than mine. So, yeah. Yeah, so. How have y'all been since the last time I seen you folks? <clears throat> it's not as hot as a devil's nutsack like a few days ago. So. All I've been doing is, like I said, cleaning, trying to pick up again. Ugh. Oh, you fucking crackhead of a bitch. Really? Yeah, I get stuck in my goddamn socket, you prick. So. Oh, there you go, you freaking crackhead whore. So, yeah, I get... Why the hell does that smell like cigarettes? Sure, I don't want to fucking smoke for shit, so... So, yeah. Figured, come out of here, tidy up my uh, shop here. Get everything reorganized again. For a umpteen millionth fucking time to fit whatever. So, um, so, trying to get everything sorted out here while I'm talking to you guys. Um, yeah, um, most people think, oh, he doesn't know what he's doing. Bitch, please. If I was on a blue collar guy like most of us are on this channel, guarantee nothing will get done. So, I don't need a barmaid or fucking get from the clown doing shit for me because that's a big no-no because I hate clowns. Well, I don't hate them. They're just fucking annoyance. So. Ugh, this shit really smells like cigarettes from that goddamn, uh. Old wash. A dryer? Or whatever I tore apart. Um. To me, a uh, blue collar and outcasts are the same kind of people because more like jocks rich people look down on them because they think they're peasants or whatever you want to call them if it wasn't for guys like you folks and me nothing would get done you know if that makes sense so there's still good pe rich people out there that do get their hand hand sturdy, but in reality, the ones that are freaking out there are just painting a dick. Oh, you, you chewing smoke, bitch! I've met women that do both, and some of those women can keep up with the guys. Trust me. 
I met a few rowdy women. Oh dear God, you don't want to piss them off. So, the ones you don't want to piss off are the rowdy ones. If I can keep up with them, man. And guys. So, like I said, yeah, yeah, as far as that, we're the same people through and through. Like, folks in our hood, they're just like, at, like us, just try and make a dollar. You know, don't matter if you're scrapping, working on vehicles, working on a freaking strip joint. But that's a different ball game. So, um, yeah, uh, I gotta give credit to the folks that are actually working in fast food joints, cause a lot of people won't do it. Cause for one, I consider that to be a um, high school job. So, yeah, so. That's why I won't do it, cause I'm more of an outdoors and garage kind of guy. Cause I don't like staying in the house very much. And that goes for, uh, in the winter time I don't like staying inside the house at any means. Cause it's just too goddamn boring. So that's why most of those guys like me are built different because uh, we're all doing things, keeping things going, and good shit like that. Um, yeah, there's a few things I've learned over the years. Never work for family nor friends because that shit will fuck up a good relationship. Like a friendship, a family relationship, don't do it, it's not worth it. Because I've done it twice in my life, never again. So, yeah. Stay, you bitch. Good. But as far as that's just trying to. You're a dirty little crackhead whore, you know what? Take snips. So, yeah. Uh, that's why y'all are normally seeing me don't, uh, either pick up scrap or working out here, working on people's vehicles, that kind of thing. Because when, when you don't have the money guarantee, People won't believe the sh shit that you go through just to get a job. So, yeah. Don't worry, it's water for right now. I'm trying to cut back on some shit. So, um, with that being said, I just figured, see how y'all are doing? Making sure you guys are doing all right, keeping cool. So, well, um, on the community tab that I posted, um, how y'all actually like out how I'm doing that black pickup kind of rat rod look? Just asking, cause um, you, I know, I know. Most people are again thinking, why the fuck will you do that or it's stupid? Um, here's an idea. Fuck, I just put my goddamn sockets away too. Fuck. But uh anyway. Uh I came I came up with an idea with this old aluminum vent. Um, that 
I don't know. I probably get laughed at it. I don't give a shit. And some people think, oh, that's a really creative idea of using parts from one thing. Um, so yeah, I found the right one. Uh, God damn it, I need my fucking adapter. Why are you being such a bitch to me now after I just put your shit away? You prick. So, um, yeah. Um, what I'm thinking about doing for a homemade uh, hood scoop for that thing in the front garage. Um, I know, I know it's ghetto. I don't give a shit that this only heating element from that old driving machine I thought about taking this whole thing apart and using hold on, this part here as a hood scoop, just a little hood scoop. Cut, but why though? When you don't have the money like most of us do around in small towns and country that kind of thing you have to make your own. So, yeah, so I know it sounds stupid, but you gotta use imagination on things like this. Cause if you, like I said, if you don't have the money that you want something, you can make it yourself. Or, or make it yourself. So, yeah, but, you fucking horse's ass. So, just try and punch this inner heating element out. There's one side. took off think about using just this part but the thing is I have to cover up two holes here and self tapper this right down on the hood cuz I thought about having this as a fully functional uh, hood scoop might be small but Gotta think outside of the box here, folks. Wait, what happened? Oh. Alright. I'll come back to that later. So, that's what I'm thinking. And for the rest of this shit, I can either just get rid of it or use some of the sheet metal for something. I don't know yet, but I'll figure it out. Basically, what I'm trying to do is make a homemade rat rod hot rod. <clears throat> so, well, um, if you guys want to do like something I'm doing, something like on a low end, some cheap, kind of do like what I'm doing. It doesn't cost you jack shit, but like this bracket here I took off a swing set um well I'm thinking about with this I'm the Rango is uh having a whole uh winch built inside but the thing is where the hook comes think about having this to stop the hook if that makes sense that's why I'm keeping it 
so but yeah that's what I'm thinking about doing so that's why I rather do shit myself because I know what I'm doing because I have a picture in my head I don't need a fucking rendering on a piece of paper it's all up here most people don't use their heads anymore so yeah this will fuck off I already know So, but anyways, I'm getting off here so I can finish up what I'm doing. So, y'all have a good day, alright? See you on the next video. Later.